Hey friends, so I am about to take off for Flame Festival, which means that the Fire and Flow Festival season has officially begun for the year for me. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk to some of you guys out there who will be enjoying the festival season for the first time and let you know what you can expect and what you should prepare for. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and today I'm giving you the complete newbie's guide to the Flow and Fire Festivals. Before we dive in, I just want to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make videos on this channel possible. You can check out all these awesome companies by following the links I've got down in the description of this video. Cool, so you've been getting your flow on, you've been learning a bunch of tricks, and who knows, you might have even spun fire a few times. And now you want to connect with a whole bunch of other people that are into the exact same things that you are. And the great news is that there's an answer to that. There are dozens of weekend retreats that happen all over the country and indeed all over the world that are designed to help you and other flow artists be able to connect with each other and enjoy your hobby for the weekend. Now these festivals can take on a whole bunch of different characteristics depending upon where you are and what the focus is of the organizers of them. Here in the United States, for example, we have fire festivals that happen both out in nature as well as in cities, plus juggling festivals and many, many more. But there are some things that you can be sure that all these events are going to have in common. So let's dive in. So this might sound obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. Basically, the whole point of these events is to be able to go and immerse yourself in flow culture for a weekend. That means that regardless of what your tool is, be it poi or if you happen to be into aerials or what have you, that you have the experience of being able to take workshops and spin at night doing these same things. What separates a lot of these events from things like, say, music festivals is that unlike those festivals, the music is not the central point. There may indeed be music there. In fact, there's probably a DJ lineup for the festival closest to you, but it's not going to feature the top tier DJs that you would see at a festival that was geared specifically for that music. And it should be said that at a lot of those music festivals, you can also find workshops and a fire circle and everything, but the primary focus there is definitely on the music and not on the flow. Flow festivals are the other way around. So in most cases, what you're going to do is you're going to purchase a ticket to one of these events, and when you go there, you're going to be setting up camping for yourself. This means that you're probably going to want to have all the water and food that you're going to need for the weekend, as well as everything that you're going to need to set up to sleep outdoors, such as a tent, a sleeping bag, and a sleeping pad. And during the days, you'll get to choose from dozens of different workshops that are all taught by people that you might have encountered on Instagram or YouTube, or even local flow artists who happen to have something that they want to teach. In most cases, these classes are going to be focused on a very specific subset of tricks that you can do with a particular tool. Basically, something that the person who's teaching the class is an expert in. There might also be intro-level classes, though, that'll help out beginners who are just getting into the prop. And then at night, you get to test out your own skills in a fire circle. Basically, think of this as being a giant dance floor set up close to where the DJs are, but instead of people dancing on it, people are spinning fire in it, which is kind of amazing. They tend to be pretty big, and they'll have safety spotters on the edges to make sure that you are spinning as safely as possible. There will probably also be a bunch of vendors on site, selling a variety of things, including spinning props, clothing, and, well, just sometimes random stuff that flow artists are also interested in, such as hip sacks and the like. Depending upon where the site is located, some of these vendors may be equipped to take cards but not have cell phone reception, so it's always a good idea to bring a little bit of cash with you in case you do want to buy something on site. Generally speaking, you'll get two days of these workshops as well as the night spinning in the fire circle before the event comes to the end. Some events will do Friday-Saturday, some events will do Saturday-Sunday, but either which way, you get two days to work through all this. And after that, it's time to clean up and head home. Because a lot of flow festivals are kind of based on burner ethics, it's assumed that you're going to leave with the garbage that you came in with. Leave no trace. And it's pretty important that you come into it with that mentality because nobody wants to clean up after you. Pretty much every festival will tell you that they are a dry event. And depending upon the festival, sometimes there's a wink nudge attached to that. And sometimes they really do expect you to stay completely sober the entire weekend. You might want to check in with somebody who is experienced at going to this festival before making your decisions as to what you bring in with you. Depending upon the site where the event happens, there may or may not be access to shower facilities. Keep that in mind if you're super conscious about your hygiene and like to shower every day. If it's that important to you, you might want to invest in a solar shower. It's also pretty rare for any of these events to allow you to park close to where you camp. You're going to want to make sure that you don't have anything left in your car that you're going to need desperately in the course of the weekend. You can probably go back and access it, but it's going to be a bit of a walk. And bear in mind, you're probably going to have to schlep stuff both to and from your campsite at the beginning and end of the event. And ultimately, the thing that these events are best for is connections. 
you'll make amazing friends and you'll get to meet people that you've only seen on the internet. And it's going to be an incredible immersive experience where you really get to deepen your love of the art. So if any of this or all of this sounds awesome to you, I highly recommend checking out a flow festival in your neck of the woods. I have in the past maintained a list of flow festivals at drexfactory.com calendar, but I've been working on a new project and it's not quite ready to go live yet. In the meantime, you can check out the lists of festivals that are offered through the Flow Arts Institute at flowartsinstitute.com or through the Flowfests family at flowfests.com. There's also Wildfire if you happen to be in the Northeast, and so many more than I could possibly list. Uh, ask around, see if your friends know of any local events. Ty Roachford is also keeping a list of all the current festivals that he's aware of over at his Prop Dance Culture site, so you can go check that out too. Awesome! So with that, I am going to go finish packing and hop on a plane and head down to Atlanta for Flame Festival. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see some of you guys there. Before I cut you guys loose, I just want to put out a huge thank you to all of my awesome supporters on Patreon. You guys are the reason that this channel and the videos on it are possible. If you're out there watching and you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, you can head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. Thank you in advance. So what's your favorite flow festival? Let me know down in the comments. And let me know if there's any obvious pieces of advice that I left out of this because this was kind of off the top of my head. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Peace.